Hi! This quick tip will show you how to make a custom brush tip in Clip Studio Paint. It's simple, but some of the steps aren't obvious. Let's jump right in. First, go to File, New, and create a large square illustration. I like to go with 1200 by 1200 pixels. Uncheck Paper Color so the image is transparent. Set the basic expression color to gray. Hit OK. On the layer provided, draw something in black. Go to Edit, Register Material, Image. Give your brush tip a name. Make sure you check the Use for Brush Tip Shape box. Choose a safe location in your Clip Studio materials. If you're not familiar with this, not to worry. For now, just click the drop down next to All Materials and select Image Material. You can add additional tags by clicking here and typing a tag name. This makes it easier to find later on. Add some descriptive tags hitting the Enter key after each one to finalize it. Click OK. It's easiest to create a new brush by duplicating one that already has properties you like. I'll make this into a scatter brush by going to Decoration and clicking on the sparkle brush that comes with Clip Studio Paint. Then click Create Copy of Currently Selected Subtool. Give your brush a name. You can make a custom icon by selecting User Settings or change the background color of the icon, that's up to you. For now, I'll just select an existing icon from the drop-down. Click OK. In the Tool Property panel, click this wrench icon in the bottom right corner to open the Subtool Detail palette. Click Brush Tip. Make sure the tip shape is set to Material instead of Circle. If there's already a material here, like the sparkle, select it and click the trash can icon to delete it. If you see this warning, click Delete to confirm. Click Add Brush Tip Shape. In the search box, start typing the name you gave your brush tip, or any of the search tags you added to it. You may not have to type the whole thing. Select the brush tip and hit OK. Close the Subtool Detail palette. Now you've got a brush with your own custom tip. You can adjust all the settings as you like. I'll cover them more in future videos. Your new brush is also set up to paint with whatever color you choose in the color picker. That's it for this quick tip. This is the first in a series I'm doing on Clip Studio paint brushes to dive a little deeper. Let me know what you'd like to see me cover.